Welcome everyone. Today we're looking at creating flashcards or a flashcards activity using H5P on WordPress and it will look something like this. So you've got instructions up top and then you've got a card with a picture, text and a field to enter the answer for the question. You've got a little hint here. So first card says what animals do you see, well, what animal do you see in the picture you get a little hint people ride this animal if you type in horse and say check it tells you you are correct and it moves on automatically to the next card you can also use the arrows to navigate or you can just click on the cards to navigate between cards What is this fruit called? I'll call it an orange and it tells me this is incorrect. The correct answer is, it gives me the correct answer, grapefruit. And the last one, the biggest lake in the world, freshwater lake, lake superior and it tells me I did good and I can click on the results to see my results. Of course, I only have three cards, but if I had a lot of cards, I would be able to scroll through my results and see what I got wrong. So this is a nice activity to uh, test the user's knowledge. It's different from the dialogue cards that I showed before because the dialogue cards did not have a field to put the answers. It was more of just looking uh, at the front and the back of the cards, trying to guess what's on the back. So this is more for testing rather than drilling, but also works very nice. Let's see how we can create one of these. Let's get started creating a flashcards activity using H5P on WordPress. So what you want to do is you want to go down to your H5P content and you want to add a new activity and from the module list you can scroll down and you want to find the flashcards module if it's not installed you want to click on get to install once you do that you can just click on it to start creating your flashcards activity for the title we'll give it a title we'll call it flashcards task description giving the instructions for all the cards I'll say look at the pictures, read the questions, and write your answer. So I've given my instructions here. Now what I can do is I can start adding my cards. As you can see there's not much going on with the with the settings or options so all you have to do is write your question so what animal do you see in the picture the answer is horse and I'll add a picture of a horse alternative text we can just call it Horse. For the tip, if you want to add a tip, we can just write something like people write this animal. And we've got two options here require users input before the solution can be viewed. Okay. So straightforward case sensitive sensitivity, we don't want that. I don't want the answer to be case sensitive. And for the for the text overrides, this is just basically overriding the default prompts and text. So for this you can just add as many cards as you want. Let me just collapse this. Card number two. What fruit 
is this answer grapefruit and I'll put a picture of grapefruits here so grapefruit and I don't really want to write the answer here tip I'm not gonna add a tip I'll add a third card just to make it more and this third card is what is the biggest fresh water lake in the world and I'll put a picture and I'll put the answers in here so the answer is Lake Superior the picture right here so this is basically it's based more on the the text than the image I'll just call it LS tip I don't want to add a tip nor we can say maybe it's between between US and Canada it's between the US and Canada and that's Lake Superior so that's it there are no other options to look at so let's just take a look at what we created here I don't want to show a toolbar below my content and I'm gonna create my activity right it's loading and it looks really nice I mean I kinda do mind the the background color I wish it was just white or you had control over it but what you do is you have a picture you have a question and you input your answer and you've got your hint here people ride this animal I know what this is it's a horse check I got it right that's good and then it's gonna move on to the next card by itself I can go back I can move forward without answering I'll say this is an orange and it tells me no that's wrong and I've got a hint here I say that the Great Lake check and I got it wrong so what I can do is I can show the results here I can go back but I can't retry until I see the results and it tells me I got the first one right second one I got wrong third one I got wrong and it tells me what the correct answer is grapefruit and Lake Superior now I can retry and I can do it again you can have as many cards let me show you how to get this on your website so you want to come to the short code you want to copy the short code and you want to add it to a post or a page we're going to add it to a post okay we'll call this 25 flash cards and you want to add a new block and the new block should be a short code block here short code block and we paste our short code in here and then we publish our post to see what our activity looks like on our website so this is why I said I don't really like the uh, the background color it doesn't really blend in with my website maybe in a later video I'll show you how to edit the CSS on uh, H5P activities all of them not just this one but it works exactly the same like we showed you can move to the next card by using the arrows or by clicking on the cards uh, let's just get horse enter and it goes to the next one grapefruit enter goes to the next one now call this the big lake check and 
one thing I noticed is that the results now show up on the side here. I think it might have to do with the with the width of my activity. If it was wider, maybe it would show up on the side like it did in the preview. But I'll click on the results and I'll see my results and I can retry or that could just be it. So this is a standalone activity. You can add it as part of an interactive workbook, maybe a question set as well. I don't know if they have added it there yet, but it's a really it's a really good activity. It's interactive. It's a nice activity to ask questions, get through, collect some data. You can use it for language learning. You can use it for any other subject as well. You can use it for review. It's a nice activity. If you have any questions, any comments, any suggestions, please let me know in the comments section below. Otherwise, thank you for watching and I will see you next time.